what kept you so long? Your mother has been back a long time ago. When I tried to ask her, she gave me her usual cheeky answers. She said that a woman who cares to know where the husband is at all times is a bad woman. I just left her alone. <laughs> it would be a good idea if you just leave me alone. Uh -uh. What do you mean, Philip? I mean what I'm saying. Maybe my mother is right. Right about what? That nonsense about a woman... Garbage. Don't <laughs> talk about my mother like that. Since when did you start believing her? What is coming over you, Philip? This morning you you, 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 you shouted at me in an unusual manner. Are you hiding something? I'm the one who should be asking you that. Aren't you hiding something? Huh? Why would my attitude not change? Why would my attitude not change when I've been married to my wife for five years now and I don't know her? I don't seem to know her at all. What is it that you don't know about me? Oh, you would like to know what I don't know about you? I'd like you? to know. It worries me a lot. Like Laura, that you have a 14-year-old daughter, that's what you want to know. How could Mimi be your daughter and you've never ever mentioned it to me? Oh God, Philip. So your mother told you. She brought the story to me the other day, but I could not think she could hate you so much as to disturb your peace. You are the one who has disturbed me. determined to ruin our marriage. I have to tell you the story of Mimi. And what I did not tell you. Please, you, just, you, you have to listen to me. Okay, I'm listening. Mimi, my little cousin. Yes, it's my child. I had Mimi when I was in Form 1. During the first time holiday, my brother sent me to go and give a letter to his friend who was a lawyer. I promise you, you'll like it. Just sit down, eh? George! Very good friend. I promise you'll like it. You like it? You like it? Come on! I told you, I'll like it. Just like yours, eh? Well, no. Try it. Uh, no, my no, mother shouted at me. No, 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 no problem. There's no problem in it, okay? No, my Seems mother. Like, we won't. Re ah! Get out, bitch! Get out! Get out! 
I went home terrified. I went back to school. I knew I was not pregnant because I'd learned that in class 7. But during the third term holiday, I had fever and vomited a lot. My mother took me to the hospital. And the doctor said I was six months pregnant. My God. And then I would die if I tried to commit an abortion. <laughs> Got a long story short. <laughs> My mother decided that I should have the baby. But not to spoil my reputation, she sent me to go and live with my cousin at Mundemba. I went there and had the baby. And after I came back to Kumba to continue schooling. Since then, I've not been able to stand a man touching me until I met you. I wanted to tell you all this. And my mother said it was not necessary. That you not get married to me if you knew I had a child. That men don't get married to women who had children before wedlock. And I needed you so much. <laughs> so my mother was right. And how did you expect God to give you another child when you are hiding the first? Look, Laura, I don't want to be part of this hide and seek. Tomorrow morning, Pack your things and quietly leave my house. I don't want a scandal. 